Hello everyone, welcome back to another beautiful video. It's finally sunny here in Anchorage, Alaska. We have some pretty, pretty sunny weather, finally. The day is September 14, 2022. We're gonna go check out some ammo here at the local Bass Pro Shop. On our last video, slash, slash ammo video, we were at the Cabela store in Anchorage, Alaska. We're at the Bass Pro. Now, I'll be honest, I've been coming to the Bass Pro for the last two weeks uh, just to window shop and just to bring my little kid here to have fun. So I already know what kind of ammunition they have. I know that their shelves are fully stocked right now. I kind of have an idea. They have all your pretty much uh, basic handguns and, and a lot of rifle throw eight. Um, I just never filmed it on my last trips here because I was with my boy and I just wanted to have father and son time. But today I'm here by myself, so I'm gonna show you guys some prices and also I need to get I need to get some clothes like some sweaters and just some apparel because I'm gonna be heading out of town here soon. So come along, enjoy the video, and let's see how much the price of ammo is. We're concerned about the price of ammo. We know there's ammo, but we want to see what the price is. The price is going to be really high. So if you're scared of these prices, don't watch the video. Let's go check it out. Look at all the beautiful leaves. It's officially fall season here in Alaska. The last two months has been nothing but rain, 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 and more rain. And today we have a little quick break nice and sunny so if you guys need to get out get out now because the forecast for the next couple days and next couple weeks doesn't look so good so here we are bass pro you guys know the drill i totally forgot i also came here for another reason i actually need a rifle case i need one that's about 40 inches long enough to fit my 22 rifle so let me look at that real quick and then we'll take you to the ammo section this looks good right here. Rimfire. So how long is this one here? So this one is 20 bucks. I think this one here will do. All right, just to get it over with real quick for the ammo reload section, we have nothing for reload. <coughs> nothing much for reload here, guys. No powder, a couple, couple bullets, that's about it. Nothing really that interesting. Thousand, um, thousand piece of brass unprimed 308 for 400 bucks. Five, five, six, six hundred twenty dollars, six hundred thirty bucks. Damn, the price is crazy. Two, two, three, three twenty, five hundred rounds. It's crazy, guys. <laughs> Twenty-two long rifle, three hundred twenty-five count, twenty-eight bucks. Expensive. I'm not gonna show you guys all of it, but you guys get the point. Twenty-two hollow point, five hundred round, fifty dollars. Here's some thousand round. I was around a 9 mil, 115 FMJ 409. Alright guys, so they got a little bit of everything, 30, 30, 300 wind mag. These prices are all the same, just like our last video to Cabela's their brother and sister company so nothing really different i feel like bass pro has a better selection all right guys apologize for running the video short here while filming this we were interrupted apparently there was like 10 leos undercover officers or just officers in general they came storming into the store and apparently I think they were looking for a particular person. I think this person was at the gun counter trying to buy a gun and uh, they must have a warrant on them a warrant on them or something. And usually when this happens, um, the salesperson would just try to keep the suspect distracted while they call the you know the Leos. So I decided to just get out of the store because they were storming in. And when I got outside, the front entrance was fully loaded with police officers, unmarked cars. 
some were even parked like way at the end of the parking lot so they must have been like prepared for some kind of crazy runaway or something like that but unfortunately um we had to run the video short but for the most part um they had a lot of ammunition very similar to our last video when we were at cabela's a lot of popular um hunting rifle 308 um, 30 out 6 etc etc so nothing too fancy nothing too crazy uh, nothing too rare and the price is pretty much the same as Cabela's so maybe next week I'll go back in and we'll do another video and show you guys what the inventory is and also update you guys on the prices for anything that we didn't film for this video I hope you guys enjoyed this and as always let me know in the comment section uh, what city what state you're watching from and if you have checked what kind of inventory that's in your city and update the prices let us know what your prices are so we can get a general idea of the lower 48 prices compared to Anchorage Alaska all the way up in the north catch you guys next time much love and I'll see you guys on the next video bye bye